It's 20 years since the British military lifted a ban on gay, lesbian and bisexual people serving in the armed forces. Before that, many were forced to hide their true identity or risk an investigation and dishonourable discharge. Kit Bradshaw explores how things have changed. The military has come a long way in the past two decades. At the turn of the millennium, you could be sacked from the forces for being gay, lesbian or bisexual. Now such candidates are actively encouraged to apply. Alistair joined up in the late 90s and was forced to repress his sexuality. The atmosphere in the background, looking back, could have been perceived as quite dark. The language was quite discriminatory and it had felt for anybody who had wanted to be themselves that potentially there was no opportunity for them to, to be able to. He believes today's anniversary of the ban being lifted is an opportunity to celebrate the progress that's been made. I've been open myself within my unit since 2006, so we're talking 14 years. And the individuals knew me before that, they knew I hadn't changed since. The armed forces no longer cares what you do in your own private life, so long as you are a dedicated individual to your job. It's not known how many people were affected by the restrictions over the years because many quit or were discharged without the true reason being recorded. But campaigners say the military has made real progress in its treatment of LGBT people. Now we've got to a stage 20 years later where actually all three of our military services are ranking within Stonewall's top 100 employers. We know that they've made efforts with the policies that they produce, with their community engagement, to actually attract LGBT staff into those services. Under fire, no one cares if you're gay or straight. Just that the soldier, the sailor or the airman next to you has got your back. A reception was held in Parliament on Thursday ahead of today's milestone. At the event, a government minister publicly apologised for the ban, calling it unacceptable. Military charities say it created years of pain and hurt for many service personnel and their families. The Ministry of Defence hopes its positive work in the years since means the forces are now more inclusive and accepting than ever before. Kit Bradshaw, Sky News.